And now we're about 30 seconds to launch, T minus 30 seconds. And now let's wait together for the launch of the Echostar 21. It looks a little cloudy there today, as you can see, Jennifer. Um, but I think the, the screen might be a little darker than it actually is there, depending on cameras and feeds. And now we'll step aside for the launch. And we have ignition. We have positive thrust and liftoff of the ILS Proton launch vehicle with the Echostar 21 satellite on board. About 10 seconds after liftoff, the launch vehicle performs a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch access with the planned northeasterly launch azimuth. The vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q, which is the aerodynamic force on the vehicle has peaked. For Proton, the max Q occurs about 62 seconds after liftoff at a velocity of Mach 1.6. Visible condensation that appears to be a stream of smoke can be observed when the conditions are favorable like today, right now on screen. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosmodrome in a northeasterly direction in suborbital trajectory along the route which provides a parking orbit inclination of 51.6 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage that is to set to occur at two minutes into the flight. In order to maintain a constant level of force, the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. On a rockets heading downrange now. On a clear day like today, launch site observers will be able to see a halo effect as the second stage engines ignite. And we have confirmation of ignition of the second stage and a good separation from the first stage.